Hey folks, on this chapter of Soft Plastics 101, we've been asked a lot of questions about offshore soft plastics and people wanting to get into offshore soft plastics or want to learn a bit more about it. So today we're going to break down offshore soft plastics a little bit for snapper, other reefies, pelagic species, all those big saltwater offshore species. So firstly, we get asked, what is the number one soft plastics for offshore fishing? That would be this guy here. So that's the five inch centered jerk shads. 10 times tough, so it stands up to those reefies and those toothies and that sort of thing that are attacking it. And it's basically that perfect bite-sized bait fish profile that fits in the mouth of a lot of different species, whether they're reef species with smaller mouths or whether they're larger predators. That will appeal to everything from a pan-sized snapper to big offshore species. That's the five-inch centered jerk shads, a great starting point for offshore fishing. People also ask us, what are the best colors? Well. Probably the best colors, the most successful colors, the most popular colors that people tend to catch on are pearl, and then your electric chickens and your nuke chickens colors, uh, and also your coconut ice glow is a popular color. So that's a great starting point, but from there you'll find what works best for the species and, and the area that you're fishing. So that's our five inch center jerk shads. We can then step up from that to a seven inch center jerk shad. So it's a larger profile, but you can see it's still got that thin tapering tail so when a fish bites it eats that plastic it's still not much of a mouthful so you'll be surprised how small a fish you'll catch on that but again you'll also catch those big offshore species why are jerk shads jerk baits the most popular for offshore if you saw our segment on the jerk baits or jerk shads you'd remember that without a paddle tail or a curl tail on the background to create lots of action it also doesn't slow the plastic down when it's sinking. So this thin tapered tail allows that plastic to cast long, sink fast, and also to sink in a fair bit of current. So that's generally why your jerk shad or jerk bait profile is the most popular offshore profile. It doesn't lack action though, because you can use the rod tip, the movement of the boat will get that tail moving and you'll see there's a lot of action in there that'll attract fish to strike that plastic. So there you go, five inch, seven inch center jerk shads, extremely popular offshore. If you're looking for more profile size, again, to attract larger predators, that's a Streaks XL 8 inch plastic. And that, again, jerk shad style profile, but a larger belly, larger profile to attract big predatory species offshore. And then you can step up again from there to something like a 10 inch Heroes. So that's a jerk bait profile, again, a lot more body in that plastic, uh, proven on GT and tuna and lots of big offshore predators. Again, that durability as well is important when you're fishing offshore. And curl, ta uh, curl tails and paddle tails are effective. Generally, if it gets, uh, the deeper it gets and the more current you get, the more weight you'll need, or you need to get away from those plastics with action. But something like that mag swims, you can see it doesn't have a massive paddle tail, so you can still get it down there and you can get that paddle tail action out of it as well. Nine inch grubs, another popular one offshore. But generally, starting point, start with those jerk baits or jerk shads. We need a jig head to rig them on then. And number one jig head offshore would be the TT Lewis Headlocks HD and the HD heavy duty hook. So that's an, an extra heavy hook, mustard, chemically sharpened black nickel hook, brutal hook for stopping big fish, proven and used by most of the big sports fishing charters and that sort of thing in Australia as well that fish soft plastics. So how do we know which jig head to choose? An easy way with these guys, it doesn't transfer right down to your smaller plastics, but I always go five inch, five O, seven inch, seven O, eight inch, eight O, get bigger and there's even bigger hooks available in the headlocks extreme range as well. So that's an easy way to remember it. Five inch on a five O, seven inch on a seven O, eight inch on an eight O. You can also step up one hook size as well. So some guys like to fish a six O in the five inch because it's a stronger hook. So if they're pulling fish out of reef or fishing for really brutal fighting fish, they'll go for a six O in the five inch and they'll go for an 8.0 in the seven inch, which you can do as well. But that headlocks jig head has that keeper to lock that Z-Man on, but it's also got that brutally strong hook as well. <clears throat> so that's the headlocks HD. There's also a headlocks extreme available, and that's a 9.0 and a 10.0. So that's awesome for when you get to like your 10 inch heroes, your eight inch mag swims, your bigger plastics, you can go for that bigger jig head again. So 9.0 and 10.0 in some heavy weights. You reckon that's a big one? Check out that, that's a six ounce jig head. So that's for big run, deep water, still getting those same sort of size plastics down there to those real big fish. 
Uh, and we actually do one in the Tournament Series Extra Heavy Duty range that's up to an eight ounce. So big, heavy plastics for deep water fishing. Alrighty, another addition that I'll show you. This is the TT Lures Swim Locks. So designed as a swim bait jig head with that weight pulled down on the hook to balance your swim baits and available in not as heavy a weights, but it is in some big hook sizes. So you can take that swim locks and rig it on those offshore plastics. Um, if you want, if you're not fishing as deep or as heavy a run, they go through to about a one and a half ounce currently. And they've got an attachment point on the bottom there. That attachment point allows you to add a stinger hook or add a blade to your plastic as well. So you can add a bit of flash and vibration or you can add additional hookup points for those soft plastics as well when fishing offshore. So there you go. I hope that helps you get hooked up on a few big fish offshore and it's definitely a great starting point. Uh, one other addition is our Streaks. We haven't spoken about him, but I better give you a quick run through on him. He's a bit different to the others. You can see that one's got a fork tail. This one has a single tail or they call it a pin tail. So that pin tail plastic has proven absolutely deadly on pelagic species like tuna, mackerel, and those fast oceanic speedsters. So that single tail, when you retrieve it at speed through the water, gets a real shimmer going like a fleeing bait fish and it's proven dynamite over and over again. Transfer that same plastic into the estuaries and it's hard to stop that tail from moving in the water. So it also appeals to flathead mulloway and those sorts of things. So there you go, that's another addition but anyway, that is our offshore plastics, a great starting point, and I hope it gets you hooked up.